so we will now draw the actual practical block diagram which is used for the conversion by a rational factor uh, it will be nothing but first will be the up sampling block this up sampling block output is given to a common filter let me call this filter impulse response as h of n and this output is finally given to decimator block so this is how the modified block diagram will look like x of n at the rate fx will enter into the block output of interpolator will be having the rate of ie fx it's given to a filter now this filter will do both the operations of anti-imaging and anti-aliasing both the tasks it will be doing alone the output of the filter is then given to the decimator block the final output will be y of n and y of n will be having the rate uh, equal to i by d into fx so that's how the entire structure will look like the rate at the input as well as at the output uh, will be equal to i times fx let me name uh, the output of uh, interpolator block as uh, v of n and output of filter as w of n so we have all these signals involved x of n uh, is interpolated to v of n v of n will pass through the filter to ensure that there are no images due to the interpolation and also ensure that it has a bandwidth which is between minus pi by d to plus pi by d so that it does not go through aliasing while decimation process the output of the filter wn is given to a decimator and the final output is y of n the frequency response of the combined filter must incorporate the filtering operations for both interpolation and decimation and hence it should possess a specific frequency response so let's write down what will be the frequency response of uh, the combined filter that we have so h of omega i'll call it omega v because we are writing it with respect to rate ifx so omega v will correspond to the rate of ifx because that's the input to the filter it's a low pass filter low pass filter will have a pass band and stop band in its stop band the output should be zero in the pass band if it's an ideal filter the output should be one instead of taking it as one we are taking it to be of value capital i which is the interpolation factor we will see the reason why we take it as i so it is i in the range greater than equal to zero and less than equal to this is a low pass filter so it has to start from zero and it will go up to the cutoff frequency now this is what we have to decide what will be the cutoff frequency uh, omega c of this filter because we said that cutoff frequency of the anti-imaging filter was omega c i and uh, anti-aliasing filter was omega c d so it is very obvious that when both are low pass filter let's say the first uh, filter was something like this let's say this was the frequency spectrum of the first filter with a uh, cutoff frequency omega c i and let's say the second filter had the cutoff frequency of omega c d so when you take two low pass filter and when we want to combine the two low pass filter into one it is very obvious that the overall cutoff frequency will be the minimum value of the two because suppose if this is my anti-imaging filter this filter will allow all the frequencies from zero to omega c i but when the signal passes through the second filter which is for decimator it will allow all the frequencies only from 0 to omega cd so anyways all the frequencies from omega cd up to omega ci will be blocked by the second filter on the other hand it may happen that omega ci was smaller and omega cd was greater in that case the first filter itself will block uh, all the frequencies above omega ci and hence there is no point of using uh, any second filter which has cutoff frequency greater than omega ci because in that case all the frequencies that are going at the input of the second filter are already less than omega cd so the overall cutoff frequency when you combine the two filter will be minimum of omega ci and omega cd whichever is the minimum value will be given to the cutoff frequency of the new filter so it will be minimum of now instead of writing omega c i and omega c d you'll have to recall what were the cutoff frequencies for anti-imaging and anti-aliasing filter for anti-imaging filter it is pi by i and for anti-aliasing filter it was pi by d so that's the overall frequency response of the combined filter